everyone, it's Tommy Rose and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm joined with Chloe again. Hi. And today we're going to be filming a little mukbang. So we've just been to McDonald's and we've got our little mac and bag. So excited. And we've asked for a few questions on Instagram and we've got quite a few. So we thought we would sit, have a little munch on our mackies <laughs> and answer some questions. Because yeah. last time we filmed together, I feel like the videos did quite well. Yeah. I really enjoyed them. Every, we enjoyed them, everyone else enjoyed and them. And everyone else really enjoyed them, mm. so I thought we would do more videos together and yeah. do a little We're in for a treat. mukbang together. So, yeah. Do you want to show what you've got to eat? Yeah, I've got some sauce. <laughs> some sauce. I've got a strawberry milkshake. I've got um, medium chips, and I also went for a quarter pounder burger, and I've got some chicken nuggets, because you have to. Lovely. We would have gone for chicken sex, but they weren't on the menu. Oh, were they not? No. They were not there? No. What's going on? Got on about please? it. They had a shortage apparently. What? Um it's a very busy car park as well. So Yeah, so if you can see people coming in and out then very busy. No. Also, it's like quarter to quarter ten. ten. McDonald's rush hour. I don't get I don't it. Understand. I've got mozzarella dippers, mm -hmm. chicken nuggets, Jealous. chicken sandwich mm. and chips and a Fanta. That sounds good. Okay, first question, that's an easy one. How did you two meet? Um very long time ago. Yeah, that's not interesting. Just literally at school. We met at school. It was yeah. year seven. And Charlie started a few weeks after us. It was like October when it was like, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's gone a bit everywhere. Mm. I'm happy McDonald's. Yeah, so as you all know, I moved down to Cornwall and I was about 11. Mm. And we, I think we moved in like October. So it was like two months into the school yeah. year. So everyone had already made their friends and I was just like rocking up like, mm. Hi. Um, but we were like best friends straight away. Yeah, we? I was told to look after her. Yeah. Uh, and I befriended her because I felt sorry. I'm joking. <laughs> sorry for the new girl. Probably You're right. Did. No, I didn't. I just clicked to be straight away and we just become best friends. Yeah. And the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago. No, they did ever. <gasps> okay, next question. If you could live together anywhere in the world, where would it be? Mm. Anywhere in Should the we world. Live abroad? Where could we live? Where, where, where would we both want to live abroad? Greece? I mean, yeah. Would you want to live there? I don't know if I'd want to live there. That's what I mean. I don't know the language and it's quite hard language. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, so long. No, I like it as a place to go on holiday, but mm. I don't know if I want to live there. Yeah. Maybe somewhere in America? Mmm. Mm. Maybe. Where would you like to live in America? I don't know. Have I never been to Florida? Mm. What would your answer be? I don't know. I think it'd be cool to live back in a city together. I was just about to say, maybe like London mm. or like like have like a flat in London. Mm. That'd be quite cool. Something like Brighton or Bath or mm. something. Yeah, maybe something like that. Mm. That oh, dog is doggy. huge. Have you seen oh, God, is that like doggy? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Your best friend is wearing the most diabolical outfit you've ever seen. Are you telling her? Mm. Now answer honestly. I don't know. I don't know because we have different styles. Yeah, we, first of all, we different styles. So what I think might look awful, Talia loves. And to be fair, you have not gone through some phases, but you have. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have worn some stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's never been sometimes my cup of tea, but you, you're happy. So let you be. Yeah. Yeah, but if it was like awful, if, if you were like, oh my God, she looks. I would if it was really bad. Yeah. I think I'd laugh. Yeah. I'd be like, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need to take your shopping? Yeah. <laughs> I need to buy some clothes. I think, yeah, I think normally day to day I wouldn't because I'd be like, well, hmm. you do you and I do me. But if it was really bad to the point where you were like going out and like a yeah. G-string thong and that's it, I'd be like, no. Right, yeah. I don't know because like I said, we have different tastes. Yeah. So I feel like... Oh, that's a big chip. Oh, that is a big boy. I think I'd probably say to you like, Oh, what if you wore like different mm. trousers with that? Or like, I'd probably suggest different... You're going to be looking out for this now. <laughs> No, okay. if Just, I was like, yeah. if I thought like, oh, I don't really like them things together, mm. I'd probably just advise you to let mm. something different. But to be fair, you've never, I've never seen anything on you that I've no. been like, oh my god, what is she wearing? No, I can't go out with her like that. No, I've never seen you. <laughs> no. but I know you have gone through phases with different outfits. Yeah. You've been. Oh yeah, of course. <clears throat> These things I've gone, I wouldn't wear that personally, but yeah, it's good on you. But, but also like styles change, don't they? And mm -hmm. we'll go there, haven't you? Yeah. Anybody else just like? No. 
You're not right. <laughs> that can't taste it's nice. It's so good. You have to try it. I just don't think that would go. Thanks. No. No. Really? I love it. No. Yes. That is the weirdest thing. Mm -hmm. There's salt in like the strawberries. No. And, mm. No. Do you prefer junk food or gourmet? Gourmet. What's gourmet? Is that like posh food? Mm. I don't think mm. we need to tell you what the answer to that is. <laughs> Depends what I fancy. I fancy McDonald's. McDonald's. Like tonight, I fancy McDonald's. Mm. I know what you mean. Sometimes I fancy food. What is gourmet? Like salmon. Like maybe like if you go to like a restaurant food, like posh fish. Like. Mm. Yeah, sometimes we've got a weird mood for it. Mm. Maybe day to day I like gourmet. Mm. And then on the weekend, or if it's when I'm having the lunch out, mm. when I'm hungry, mm. junk food. If your bestie was head over heels with someone you knew was bad news, would you say anything? Mm. I feel like you would. Mm -hmm. It's really hard because, yes, I would because you'd want the best for your friends, but at the same time, it's hard because your friend wants to be with that relationship, so yeah, it's hard telling you them. You kind of have to let them yeah. do their thing. I want like my friend in the situation where yeah. she's going to get hurt. Yeah, but well, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, I think, that's what I mean. If you, you know, they have to realize it for themselves, but at least they know that you're there, and you, you have to do it in a way that's not pushing to the point where they want to be like, "You're not my," you know. Mm. I'll choose the boy, but okay. So if I was in a situation where I was like. I'm dating someone and you're like, oh my god, no, absolutely not. I wouldn't say it then. Would you be like... No, no. No, no, no because none of your exes have been my cup of tea. Mm. Yeah, but what if you knew something about them that was like, they're a cheat, they're like well known for being Yeah, I tell you dick. then. Mm. Just Straight because, away. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you wouldn't want your friend to get hurt. No. But say if it weren't my cup of tea and I wouldn't date them personally, I'd be like, you, that's fine. Mm. That's your friend. It's your but I think this means if it was like someone that's yeah, no, I wouldn't, known I wouldn't, for being no. an idiot. I think if you were to sit aside as your friend, then I'd be. Do you yeah. mean, if something happened, I'd be like. Yeah. Yeah. I think you should sort of say, like, listen, this has happened, da, 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 it's up to you. Yeah. You're, you're an adult. Yeah. You've got to make your own mistakes, but just to let you know if something does happen, I'm here for you as a friend. Yeah. You know. That's fair enough. Hmm. Well, you yeah. say something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it depends what situation. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Like you have. If we, I we wasn't have. happy with something they'd done, but like you were okay with it, then mm. I'd be like, that's fine. Mm. But then if it was something that was like very well known that that mm. person was an idiot mm. and you didn't really know him, yeah, I suppose it's depend on you. If you knew the thing and oh, oh. if you knew about the thing and accepted it and you were fine with mm. it, then I'd be like, okay. Mm. But if you didn't know. Mm. Then I'll tell you. Yeah. I think we've both been in situations like that with each other. Yeah, we've we we've mean you've been the only ones that ever actually tell it to each other's faces. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Mm. 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 But I think you have to be honest and just let your friend know and then it's up to yeah, them. Yeah, you do. Because then you won't be able to live with yourself. Imagine I think if it's like worse. something happened that was really bad and you knew about it the whole exactly. time. Exactly, that's what I mean. You'd feel awful. And it, or if you knew something about that boy and you didn't tell your friend mm. and then they found out that you knew, that would be worse. Yeah, that would be I think awful. I'd be fuming. I'd be like, well, how, yeah. you're not a friend, are you? Tell yeah. your friend. Mm. Yeah, always be open and honest because mm. the truth always comes out at the end of the, end of the day. This one's for me, so it says for Talia, mm -hmm. are you ready for a relationship or do you want to be single for a while? Um, yeah, definitely want to be single still. Mm. Um, I don't know if I want to say that from the internet, but yeah. Okay, so part of the reason me and my ex did split up is because I wanted to be on my own for a little bit and to be honest, I've not been single since I was about 13. Mm. I've been in and out of relationships, like they've not overlapped but i've always been talking to someone at yeah. some point i've never been on my own and i just wanted to be on my own for a little bit just to <laughs> flicking your pickles out <laughs> don't like gherkins <laughs> so yeah um i've been in and out of relationships literally mm -hmm. since i was like 13 14 so like you single no i've never really been single and if i have been like i said i've been talking to someone mm -hmm. or like on tinder or and or you've never been okay being single you've always no. been like and i want to be okay being on my own like i just yeah mm -hmm. I feel like that's quite a hard thing to admit, but like I do, I just feel like I need, mm. I just know in myself I need this time to be on my own mm. and I just need to 
learn to be okay on my own mm. and sort of survive on my own and be happy on my exactly. own because then i feel like when you meet someone mm. then you're even happier like you're at your exactly. happiest it's added bonus then. yeah and you can survive on your own and you're not like relying on someone all the time because mm. i feel like i'm always relying on people i just want to be like happy on my own mm. so that's my answer mm -hmm. i'm not looking for anyone what's your most niche ick mm. it's like it's like no? <laughs> what? I don't know who it is. Wow. What's your like, per like, personal niche? Like, mm. personal ick. What's your ick? Come on, Chloe, what's your ick? Oh my god, I have so many. My ick? In life, especially with Jack, just literally <laughs> throwing shade in. <laughs> shade. Is um, people eating loudly. Um, makes me really angry. Um, yeah, I can't stand it. No. I can't eat in silence either. I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Not like sort of chatting, but like, okay. Sometimes at home we sat there with no radio on and we sit there with the table. Oh, and, and you can hear the knives and forks like, <laughs> clunk, clunk. Oh, I hate that. I sit there like eating quickly. And I'm like trying to swallow like yeah. quietly, like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, I can't. My belly's like, pull on. Yeah. <laughs> and Jack's just like, oh, I hate and I'm that. Like, oh, literally. No. And I'm kicking him under the table, like, shut up, shut up. No, I hate that. I get that. And I'm like, can you eat any quieter? <laughs> Shut that's up. my ick. That's my Osha ick. I'm trying to think. Maybe just like. Mm. Oh, I've just thought of one. Mm. No, because this really makes me cringe to the core. Long toenails. Oh, don't. That makes me want to die. No. I can't deal with it. Mm. Or just long fingernails on guys. Yes. I just don't like it. Mm -hmm. Especially with dirt underneath the nails. That's disgusting. That's a big ick. Yeah, that's disgusting. That's a big no from me. Um, and last one. Mm. I think this is last one. Yeah. Last one. If you were scouted for Love Island, would you do it? Oh my god. Absolutely. You see me in telly next year. Oh yeah. Oh, Jack. Centre of attention. Get me on TV. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not for me. Do you know what? I have considered it. Have not you? gonna lie. Go on. But then when you watch it and you see all the, i think mm. it's more the challenges for me mm. everything else will be fine but it's when they do the challenges and like get into sex positions yeah, but and, i guess no if you do nothing all day you're probably bored mm. so i bet that it's fun for them to do that and i suppose it'd be fun to do at a party like we yeah. wouldn't mind doing it if you don't is think it, about the cameras and like your family but they watching. don't make you forget mm. yeah i suppose it is quite fun mm. but i just don't know if i could do that i like the idea of it mm. But I don't know if I could actually go on it. If you did though, could I run your Instagram while you're gone? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Sure, and I want a proper caucus. Mm hmm. <laughs> I think we're too shy for that. I think we're, our I personalities aren't big enough. I'm big not enough. about that life. I'm not about socialising. No. I'm not about like. I'm not. No. It's very quick paced style. It's very like, mm. you can't. Yeah. I meant to actually meet someone. I don't understand that. No. And it's everything very forced on, as everything well, isn't on it? TV. Yeah. It's like not even that, it's when watch. they come back out, it's crazy. Like, their whole mm. lives are just completely crazy. And I'll be yeah. like, no, I want to go to bed like and go have a bath. No, but I feel like you have to be quite a big personality to be mm. on there. And I feel like we're not big enough personalities. <laughs> <coughs> I just want to nap and chill, wouldn't I? Yeah, I think we're a bit too chill for that. Mm. Okay. Is he running with a banana? <laughs> Snack on the way. Oh, okay, that? so mm. that's all the questions. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy that? It's really nice. I enjoyed yeah. that. So that is the end of this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoy seeing Chloe on my channel again. We should be filming more videos together soon. Yes. So stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Excited. Yeah. Sorry about the lighting as well. It is like dark now because it's like 10 o'clock at night, but yeah. Um, but if you did enjoy, definitely give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to Chloe's as well. I'll leave it down below. Thank you. And we're also filming a video over on your channel yes. tomorrow, aren't we? Get ready with me. Yeah, so that should be up on Chloe's channel at the same time, so you can go and check that out. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.